My human trafficking experience. I was forced into prostitution and used as a sex slave. People precious to me were constantly used as a weapon to threaten me over and over again, to break me down so I wouldn't be able to escape from the web. I was deceived and tricked into this. False promises were made to me. It was too late when I realized that everything I was told were all lies. The only plan I had in my mind, which was part of the promises, was achieving a good career, which would enable me to give my children a secured future. My plan all along was different from the one they had in mind, but my vulnerability sold me out. The genuine love I have for my family and my children was the reason I was the best and easiest target. My family was like my Achilles heel. And having detailed her experiences, she says, I am free today, but still trying to recover. The memories do not go away. Sometimes I feel dirty because of all the disgusting experiences. I have received great help and support, but the whole experience is like a cut that has left a huge scar on me. In the first stage of my healing process, I suffered from serious depression and couldn't leave the house. For months, I couldn't even open the curtains. I just wanted to stay in the dark and cry over and over again. I cried so much that everything started looking burning. My eyes were so swollen that one would think that a swarm of bees had stung my eyes. I don't know how long it will take me to heal, and I don't know if ever I will be able to completely heal from this deep pain. So human trafficking is real. Modern slavery is real. Just a little observation of people around you can save a life today. Please report any suspicion. Staying quiet can destroy another person. Someone around you might be experiencing the same, a similar situation as to mine or even worse. Let's try to be more observant around our environment. In today's world, people still die from depression because no one was able to see their pain. No one was able to see their suffering. Some people judge a book by its cover, and they are not able to see past the physical appearance of people. So to every victim of human trafficking out there, do not lose hope. I know people will try to break you, to contem condemn you, to intimidate you, to make you feel less of yourself. Some people will make their opinions known in a sarcastic way. They will ask you sensitive questions that are emotionally draining. Some people might have a certain way they look at you, a look of complete disgust. There are times when people will tell you that you do not look like a victim, even when you are totally broken and there is just a tiny piece of thread holding you together. But do not let their words get to you. I know it is hard, but it is the only way to help yourself. Do not lose hope, because where there is life, there is always hope. Thank you.